Everybody, Chris from Prepare My 101. Today we're going to be looking at something for the fun of it. Something cool. It's not something that you necessarily need or that there's like a practical application for. But if you're on this channel, you probably like knives because we look at a lot of knives. This is a sword. It's a pretty freaking cool sword and the fit and finish of this thing is pretty impressive. So we're going to be looking at the Condor Tactical Gladius. Yeah. So the reason this is like a more of like a tabletop I'm not going to be like chopping down trees or anything like that is this is actually meant for somebody else. But it got rerouted to me so I could at least do a you know a look-see video give my impressions of this which actually was quite surprising so if you want to check this thing out with me then don't go away All right, let's go ahead and run down the specs of this thing. And this is pulled from KnifeCenter.com, which seems to have most of the newest Condor stuff. So this is a Tactical Gladius sword. It is designed to fit nicely into a rucksack or in the side of a pack while still being able to be pulled out and used swiftly if one is in a tight space. With a paper micarta handle, a fullered double-edged blade. Snap this blade into its kydex sheath and you'll be ready to take on anything the world has to offer. Technically speaking, wouldn't it be snap it out of the kydex sheath and then you'd be ready to take on anything the world has to offer? No, I'm just nitpicking. <laughs> and of course, this is Joe Flowers at it again, getting crazy. So the blade length on this is 18.52 inches and it has a handle length of 6.18. The blade material is 1075 high carbon steel so it's going to be nice and tough. Blade thickness is 0.18 or 4.5 millimeters. It is a Gladius sword. This is, it's listed here as a convex grind it's a very steep condex grind it's got a black traction powder coating but it's not like a rough one it's actually very smooth uh, the handle material is paper micarta has a kydex sheath and the weight is 39.87 ounces made in El Salvador this thing runs if you're into swords 195.48 so again, we're looking at this for fun. I'm not telling you you need it. Everyone <laughs> wants to tell me why they don't need it or just use a machete. Hey, this is if you like swords. It's something cool. It's something different. Uh, and actually, the Kydex sheath is really nice. And what's interesting about this is, I'm just going to get in the camera here. The way that they did it, like the, the back plate that it attaches is actually leather, like thick leather. And you've got a D-ring and a dangler belt loop. And then it's pretty much, you know, standard kydex. And then they've looped all the paracord through it. But the fit on this... very nice it's not too tight it's not too loose it's got a nice lockup very nice on the sheath all right let's take a look at the handle here handle is micarta nice and smooth well rounded well polished plenty of reach plenty of grip I will say being that this is Obviously, if you're going to be front heavy, me personally, 
If I was going to be swinging this thing around, I would probably throw my Wilson wrap on it. Which I don't put that on a lot of things these days. But just because it is a smooth handle and it's a double-edged frickin' sword swinging this around, I would feel more comfortable wrapping it. But it's an option. It's not something you have to do. But that works on most of the big things that I swing around. Now the grind is... You know, I can't... Because this is somebody else's, we're just kind of looking at this. This is definitely meant to be like a battle sword, but it's not like a, a really slicey one. You can tell that's that's got a pretty steep grind right there. And it doesn't come uh, considerably sharp at all. Probably just because it's a big sword, so you would have to touch that up. But this almost looks like it would be pretty good for chopping wood or heavy stuff or it's just meant for a thicker edge so you don't damage the edge but it's not like a thin slicey edge it's got a nice fuller to it and like I said the, uh, the powder coat on this is pretty smooth pretty nice I mean it's a it's a well made nice looking blade it's definitely cool. Zombie apocalypse, maybe. It's for people who like swords. <laughs> and, and no YouTube reviewer is going to be able to give a practical argument for such a device. But swords in these days and age I mean they're not gonna be cheap so having something like this being built this tough for that price if that's what you're looking for I mean it's a pretty cool item I mean we're not gonna baton with it or <laughs> it's a sword <laughs> I, I, there, there's no there's no gladiatorial arena around here that I can go test this out in all we can really do is look at it, kind of give you an up-close look versus looking at it in a picture. Let's see if we can find the point of balance here. So it looks like the point of balance is right about there. And you still got quite a bit of blade up front so that's all I can really do with it I mean like I said it's not mine I can't beat it up and then give it to the person who it's supposed to go to like hey here's your uh, sword you're supposed to get but I beat the hell out of it first you know enjoy <laughs> it's definitely something interesting and hopefully that gives you just a little bit better look at it if you've been pouring through the Condor catalog or happened to have spotted it and uh, were interested in learning more. That was basically our goal here. So when I look at stuff like this, I tend to think of them more as like functional collectible items, people that are into that sort of stuff. I mean, even if we look at swords like say zombie tools, some big zombie tools sword, I mean, what are you gonna do with that? Uh, realistically, not a lot, they're just, Fun. people like to have them so we don't get too wrapped up you know into the functionality of such a thing people just like swords this one's definitely tough uh, the edge is the edge grind seems like it's meant for abuse more than slicing it is a very steep uh, angle uh, it's not gonna chip out or anything like that but it's not gonna like slice like say you know a katana or a thin edge sword would but definitely it is cool and I was really impressed with the fit and finish of the overall package so I think they have another gladius that's more of like a traditional looking gladius which I've never really I might have picked it up at blade show or something like that once or twice but never messed around with it so I can't speak to the differences between the two but this one is definitely a heavy-duty beater sword and I thought it would just be fun to look at 
So if you are interested in such a thing, I will have links to it in the description box below. And the next couple Condor videos that I plan on doing is going back and doing like the full tilt, you know, making stuff like use video for like the the pterosaur and that last one that I did that was a Puko. I want to go back and do that again too because those were both like uh, first impressions reviews. So that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then.